Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video today. Today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we've got a price cut for this Tesla Model Y option, which is going to have an effect across a lot of the different inventory vehicles that are out there for the Tesla Model Y. So we're going to take a look at that plus a variety of topics. But before we do that, let's roll that intro really quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video, definitely check out my Patreon link down below in the description where you can support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And all live streams are partnered by with mint mobile where you can save money on your mobile phone plan but more on that later let's take a look at this shout out to sorry for posting this tesla has reduced the seven seat model y seating option by five hundred dollars to two thousand dollars in the united states this is basically a five hundred dollar discount and what's interesting here is there's a lot of inventory discounts on seven seater model versions not that long ago including a over eight thousand one hundred dollar discount and an eight thousand four hundred dollar discount both of these with seven seater vehicles so it seems like tesla maybe has some issues selling some of these seven seater model y so that is why they've now discounted this price discounted the cost option or the cost of the option for the seven seater on the model y by five hundred dollars What's really interesting with this is that the price of the seven seater was $2,000 a year ago, it was $4,000 a year ago. Shout out to Sawyer for posting this very informative tweet. Here's another post from Tesla North. At the price of the seven seater option has been discounted by $500. So my question here is this. So this has a purchase price right here of $47,590. This was still left up on the screen from a few days ago i'm afraid to refresh it because i like looking at this massive discount but here's the other one i guess we'll ref refresh this one because this is the older one that had a 8100 price adjustment a let's see if it's still in stock and if it is what price are we still going to see here it still says 8100 so did this one decrease by 500 i'm wondering if i don't think it actually did so it seems like the prices have been reflected on the new side if you're going to be ordering and not any of the inventory vehicles that are out there. So pretty interesting to see that they've changed this on the ordering side. But we we all know that if you're looking for the best discounts out there, you got to find an inventory Tesla Model Y with an inventory discount out there. But let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what your thoughts on it. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, if you like saving money, just a quick word for from our partner. But before we get into our next topic, we all love saving money, right? And we hate overpaying. That's why I'm excited to be partnering with Mint Mobile for our daily live streams. How much are you paying for your mobile plan? And what do you actually get? Speed, coverage, data access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, and mobile hotspot even? Well, Mint offers all of these features for as low as $15 a month. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online and cut out the retail stores and salespeople. Switching is easy now with digital SIM cards. I just switched my second line to Mint and I did it all online without going into a store. If your phone doesn't have an eSIM, Mint will ship you a brand new SIM card for absolutely free. Don't be duped. Go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisEW, also linked down below in the description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. It only takes 15 minutes. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more, and that includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get back to the next topic. Thanks for that. Volky, love the videos. Maybe add a new headshot for the thumbnails. Yeah, I 
guess we could do that. You're right. Uh, we should change it up. Sometimes I have a sad face one and I've got a, a stressed one, but uh, I guess I like to be happy uh, with the positive one. Uncle Kinroy, thanks for coming in. Two-day streak. Yes. Uh, vo thanks for coming in. Volky, nice video on the Model 3 Hertz inventory. I saw some 2023 with 20K miles, about 20K before the used EV. Yes. Uh, here, let me show you what exactly I'm talking about. So this is the fueleconomy.gov. This shows a list of all vehicles that qualify for the used electric vehicle tax credit. And there's a specific section for Tesla. And you can see Tesla Model 3 has to be a 2022 or older Model Y. It can also be a 2022 or older. So yes, high mileage Model 3 or Model Y, that's kind of where you have to be. And of course, it has to be under 25K. And it also has to be purchased from a dealer as well that technically the dealer has to be it has to be signed up with the IRS program for the $4,000 rebate. And this next topic, the EV war heats up even some more because now Ford has dropped the price or cut the price of the Ford F-150 Lightning by up to $5,500. Hundred dollars. Let's take a look at it. But shout out to Green Car Reports. The Ford reverses course, cuts Ford F one fifty Lightning prices by up to fifty five hundred dollars. I thought these trucks were already so low uh, because I've seen some deals as I was like in the forty k range. I mean, say whatever you want about this truck and whether it's a good truck or not. Forty thousand dollars for a brand new Ford F one fifty Lightning electric truck that seems like a great deal to me especially when you can get you know a model y or a model 3 in that same pricing i mean a way bigger vehicle and now it also has access to the electric vehicle supercharging network the tesla supercharging network but effective april 5th the xlt standard range gets a two thousand dollar price cut bringing a base price down to 65k and the lariat extended range gets a twenty five hundred dollar price cut down to seventy nine thousand dollars and the 2024 position between XLT and Lariat gets the biggest price cut of $5,500, meaning it now starts at $70,000, $70,090. Prices for the base standard range and platinum extended may remain unchanged. Okay, so the cheapest one is $57K, but it has not been price cut at all. So it's really like those mid-level to high trim ones that got some haircuts for the price with there. But still pretty interesting to see. We are starting to see a lot of more discounts. Yesterday, we highlighted the Lucid getting like a 30 30k price cut or maybe it didn't but we're certainly see a lot of oems a lot of manufacturers starting to drop their prices of their tesla vehicles so pretty interesting to see as the competition starts to heat up but let me know what your thoughts on it let me know what you're thinking but we're going to jump into the live stream comments but actually a couple quick announcements if you're interested in winning a uh, paint protection film or vinyl change color film, we're doing a giveaway with Bespoke Design Lab. If you're interested in winning this, head on over to our YouTube community page, and that's where you're going to be entering into the giveaway. Of course, you must be willing to travel to southern california or in the southern southern california area and on top of that i know a lot of you are not in the southern california area or three out of four of you watching so we're also giving away tesla sipping glasses as well for a random commenter on the video giveaway so definitely check it out and good luck to everybody that's enters into the giveaway for the paint protection film or the vinyl change color film and thank you to Bes thank you to bespoke design lab for sponsoring the giveaway on top of that our other channels sponsor tenant ev financing is given away well, they're not giving away you can get a free electric charger if you finance your vehicle or refinance your vehicle or even or do, get your ev charger installed by them while purchasing a tesla vehicle so definitely check out tenant down below in the description if you don't know who tenant is or don't know what tenant is tenant is an electric vehicle financing company a tesla approved financing company and can get you the lowest payment on your tesla loan by deferring a portion of the loan maybe even that seven thousand five hundred dollars tax credit so definitely check, definitely check out tenant down below in the description and you can check out their financing calculator as well see what kind of payments or how much savings you'll actually get and also you can do a soft inquiry check as well to see what offer they can give you on top of that so definitely check out tenant down below in the description and thank you to tenant for sponsoring this video and a bunch of other videos this month 
Peter, is the $4,000 used tax credit off the sticker? Yes. If you're purchasing it from a dealership, they can file it for you and get that price uh, itemized for you off of that. Why YSBH, thanks for coming in. Get the long range. Yeah, long range is, of course, definitely better if you do road trips and things like that. Aaron, do you think the Model Y rear wheel drive is a good buy? It went the 20s, but it reduces range and advise I charge 80% along with degradation. I'm worried I might regret it not getting the long range. Did you? Okay, so you didn't purchase it yet. So it really depends. If you have a home charger and you can charge at home consistently and you don't do a lot of road trips, then yes, I would say a rear wheel drive could be good or useful, but if you do any sort of road trips, that's where you're really going to feel the range, uh, not uh, not having that much range. So uh, certainly that's where you kind of have to think think about that and what your driving habits and stuff like that. Peter, aloha. Thanks for coming in. YSBH, 60K too high for the XLT since nobody wants these. Yeah, I guess they just need to keep adding more incentives and keep adding more promotions and things like that for that. But if you're just joining in, welcome. Tesla has lowered the price of the Model Y seven-seater option by $500. It seems like this is only affecting new orders on the ordering page and not inventory orders on the inventory discounted page so of course the best deals are going to be on the inventory page so definitely check them out and of course if you're ordering don't forget to use a tesla referral code just like the one down below in the description so you can get three months of full self-driving which is valued at six hundred dollars tesla referral code in the description and thank you to everybody that's used our tesla referral code in the past and in the future and this next topic, just a quick one, because we just saw this crazy concept of a Model S in the near future, a Model S Roadster taking a lot of design cues off of the Highland. Let's take a look at it. Well, I guess the Highland is really taking design cues off of the Roadster. So really, we're just going full circle here, I guess. But shout out to Nick for posting this Model S Roadster front design Bumper design by Motor Trend. I can see Tesla incorporating design elements from the Roadster to all models eventually. They've already started it with the new Model 3. Let me know what you think about this. This one looks it looks off to me. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's too aggressive. Of course, Franz will probably make sure and figure out and make it look a bunch better or a lot better. But this one just looks a weird to me. This one, of course, that looks fantastic with the Roadster uh, on it and the actual Roadster. But this one seems like kind of like a, a like something's something's just off in the front of it. That's for sure. But still, very very for sure, this is going to be happening with more slimmer headlights, more aggressive headlights as we see on the Model 3 Highland currently. And I'm still waiting to see when this Model 3 Ludacris is actually coming out. The latest date we got, which I guess is 10 days from now, which is on 420, April 20th. We could easily see that coming up in the near future. On top of that, some other cool designs and other cool things that are coming out in the Tesla ecosphere. Check out some of these unplugged performance police vehicle designs. This one is already out, the Model Y. We actually saw it this past weekend at the Peterson Museum. Really cool vehicle via the unplugged up fit program where they actually make police cars. But check out this Cybertruck one. I mean, certainly a rugged one we've already seen this before in the past as well but what if we can see a cyber truck actually being like a a police cyber truck that's what i want to see in the near future but really cool to see these kind of things definitely check out tesla or unplugs new website where you can see all the different unplugged tesla police type of vehicle integrations and how what they can actually modify for that not sponsored but certainly a really cool see to see what's actually possible out there and maybe you know someone in the police department that you can convince them to get a unplugged police interceptor as they call them but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let's jump into the live stream comments Michael Shin, thanks for coming in. Hi, should I wait for the next quarter of the end of the Model Y? Yeah, you might as well. I mean, if you don't need a vehicle, you might as well wait till the end of June. Pack. How low will Model Y long range go by quarter end? I mean, we're already seeing discounts up to 8,400. So that's pretty big. And I don't think it needs to go that much lower. But uh, I mean, inventory is what will position it. But certainly, I don't know if they're going to do more discounts, but they certainly going, are going to add more incentives, whether it's free supercharging as they like they did last quarter, or maybe just scare everybody with a 1000 hour price in quarter increase, which I guess also worked last quarter as well. 
Tenant doesn't work in Nevada. No, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, not all states, I guess. John, where's the video with car seats on the CT? Can the CT be a dad's car? Yes. Uh, me, Kevin, actually, in the video that we did, we collaborated with me, Kevin. He installed it a booster seat. Of course, that's not a full car seat, but he did install a booster seat in the back of the Cybertruck, and it worked well. Juan, thanks for coming in. I haven't seen you in a bit. Hopefully, you're doing well. Blip. I'm stuck with my Tesla. I cannot sell without losing over 30K just in one year. It actually, you know, it's not just Tesla. A lot of vehicles have dropped on prices over the past year and also due to like other vehicles having markup as well. But I certainly feel what you're feeling because we've got a Model X that has lost a lot of money as well. But I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it because I want, I like being in the Tesla Model X. I actually drive it more than the Cybertruck and it's just a great vehicle. And as long as it still's got, still has warranty, I'm completely completely fine with it. Juan, hope you're doing well. It's been a while. Yes, hopefully you're doing well as well. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for the like button, the comments and everything. But thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.